I had quite a bit of background getting triathletes to an elite triathlete stage and the important components are that you release the IT bands, the iliotibial bands because they're a long muscle that join from the hip all the way down into the knee and so a lot of people that do a lot of distance get runner's knee so what you want to do is do a lot of rolling, a lot of pressure points uh, um, how do you call it, sports injury trigger points on the actual muscle. So you really want to strip those muscles and really release them to reset them. The other, and that, that helps with the knee. The other thing you want to do to reinforce the glutes and the hamstrings and also the knee strength, which enables you to run much faster, is to do one leg squats. Now, when you start trying to do one leg squats, they're really hard. So what you do is you do progressive versions of them. So that, that will cover the sort of lower body and making that strong. Then you would go into doing weight training where you do things like back squats as well, maybe even sumo squats and deadlifts to improve the posture to get the back stronger as well as the glutes at the same time. Then you would want to also do um, sprint training and uh, you would set distances and times. Like you would do something like one minute sprints, you would do something like three minutes as fast as possible and five minutes as fast as possible because when someone's doing an ultra run or a triathlon what they do is they go for much higher distances but they don't get the, that rocket jet boost that you need to have to keep really strong so I always encourage people when they want to get to an elite or really good level uh, and feel powerful when they do it is actually to go much faster than they would in a longer actual event stage that they would do. I'd also get them to do a longer version of the events they have to do sometimes because that helps them to work really well. The other thing for runners, in, in, which is quite typical, is lower back pain. So movements to really develop the general back and the glutes are always a sound, sound way to, to work for a runner. And also for a runner, because there's a lot of single limb, limb motion from the arms and legs, it's good to do single limb movements. So for example, lunges, one arm pull-ups, so even just holding yourself stationary. So a lot of tips out there, and obviously I would condense this, condense this for the individual that I'd be seeing. So I, I hope this helps, and if you've got any questions, feel free to send emails or, or contact us or check out the website if you want to do some training, uh, fill out the application form and look forward to seeing you really soon.